Hello friends, this is Aditya and you are watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, welcome to EV News. In this video, let's discuss some of the latest and important updates from our EV industry. So without any delay, let's start the video. Friends, first news is from Aether Energy. Aether Energy is working on a family electric scooter, finally. All these days, we saw expensive and performance-oriented electric scooters from Aether. Soon, we are going to see a family-oriented electric scooter from Aether Energy. This news is revealed by Aether CEO Mr. Tarun Mehta through his Twitter account. So, already this Aether family electric scooter has been spied on the roads. If you look at the design of this upcoming electric scooter, it exactly looks like Stevia's IQ. The long seat enough boot space and the front design all this looking exactly like tvs iCube electric scooter but unlike tvs iCube this upcoming aether electric scooter will get mid drive motor so aether is clearly not compromising on the performance and they are giving the family oriented elements in this upcoming electric scooter along with this family electric scooter they are also working on the series 2 450x electric scooters so in the series 2 we can observe the improved performance improved aerodynamics and improved design in those series as aether recently announced the transparent panels so i think this aether series 2 electric scooters is going to get those transparent panels so all these electric scooters are going to launch in jan or february 2024 so we should wait more three to four months to see these electric scooters on road so what's your feeling on this aether upcoming scooters please let me know in the comments Friends, next news is from Karnataka government. If you look at current EV startups, most of the electric vehicle startups are from Karnataka and majority of them are from Bengaluru. So Karnataka is offering good opportunities and good incentives to EV startups. And recently they launched a program called Elevate Karnataka program. So in this program, 100 startups from Karnataka will get a initial funding from the Karnataka government. So they set up a budget of 20 crore rupees. So from these 20 crore rupees, 100 EV startups will get up to 5 lakh rupees funding from Karnataka government. So this program has been initiated to encourage startup with the early stage funding. And one interesting news here is Revote Motors also selected for this funding. Friends, next news is from Oraha Mantis. So this Oraha Mantis electric bike has been launched yesterday. I made a dedicated video on this. The link will be in the description. If you are interested on this electric bike, please go ahead and watch this video. If you look at the specifications of this electric bike, with the help of 8.9 kilowatt of fixed battery pack, Oraha is claiming a range of 221 kilometers. And the top speed of this electric bike is 135 km per hour. They launched this electric bike at an extra room cost of 3.6 lakh rupees. Friends, next news is from Ultraviolet Automotive. At the time of Chandrayaan 3 success, Ultraviolet has launched a limited edition color called Space Edition. So they said that only they are going to produce 10 units in this Space Edition. And the extra room cost of this Space Edition is 5.6 lakh rupees. Now the deliveries of this Space Edition has begun and our Indian actor Mr. Rohit Roy has took the delivery of this Space Edition. If you look at the specifications, the Space Edition will get 30.2 kilowatt peak powered motor which can produce 100 newton meters of torque and the top speed of this space edition is 152 km per hour with the help of 10.3 kilowatt hour battery company is claiming a range of 307 kilometers so will you buy an electric bike by spending 6 lakh rupees on road please let me know in the comments Friends, next news is from Mahindra. On August 15, 2022, Mahindra showcased some of its upcoming electric cars. So one of the electric car is Mahindra XUV E8. So this E8 electric car will exactly look like XUV 700, which is an IC variant right now. Recently, this electric car has been spy testing on Chennai Bangalore Highway. The whole car has been covered with camouflage. But if you look at the interiors, except the front part, rest of the rear part is looking exactly like XUV 700. As electric motor will be present at the front part they redesigned the front part of this electric car but overall it exactly looks like xuv 700 so how many of you waiting for mahindra electric car please let me know in the comments Friends, last news is from Pure EV. Pure EV launched a new electric bike into the market. This is not a new electric bike. It's the upgraded version of Pure EV Eco Drift, which they launched earlier this year. So this new electric bike name is Pure EV Eco Drift 350. When we look at the specifications, this gets 3.5 kilowatt of fixed battery pack, with which company is claiming a range of 171 kilometers. And the top speed of this electric bike is 75 km per hour. And the extra room cost of this Pure EV Eco Drift 350 is 1.3 lakh rupees. As per the company, they launched this electric bike at as a rival of 110cc motorcycle engines. So friends, these are some of the latest news and updates from our EV industry in this week. So if you found the video helpful, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe Electric Vehicles India. Go green, go electric.